Hey guys, this is a video in my differential equations with linear algebra series. In this video, I'm going to work out a web work problem pertaining to autonomous differential equations. Without further ado, let's get to it. The question states, a culture of yeast grows at a rate proportional to its size. If the initial population is 6,000 cells and it doubles after 2 hours, answer the following questions. And the first question we have is write an expression for the number of cells after t hours and the answer is going to be in the form of p of t equals and before we answer this question let's go over a few things so an autonomous differential equation has the form dp uh, dt equals kp N notice that this is can also be called pre, uh, p prime and p prime is not dependent on uh, t. You don't see any t's on this side. So, quick note, k is the constant of proportionality. When k is greater than 0, there is growth. And when k is less than uh, 0, there is dk. Another thing to notice would be that this is a separable uh, differential equation. We can... Uh, uh, integrate this quite easily. So let's say for instance we were to integrate this then we would do uh, I'll just rewrite it here dp over dt equals kp we can multiply both sides by dt and divide by p so then we'll end up with dp over p equals k dt and k is just a constant right so we can leave it that way and we can integrate both sides then this becomes natural log of p is equal to k and since we're integrating with respect to t's uh, t and we'll just uh, add the c on this side now we have p but we have natural log of p we would want p equals something so what we're going to do is e raised to the power of natural log of p and then e raised to this entire power e raised to natural log just cancels the natural log and then we have p equals and here we're going to use a property of exponents where we have like x raised to an a power times uh, the same base raised to another power we can write that as x of a plus b where we're just adding the uh, powers since the bases are the same here we're going to go in the opposite direction and we're going to say this is e times c times e to the power of c times e to the k t and this e to the c is just the initial population times e to the kt is equal to p of t and that's the ge uh, general form for the population model now if we go back to our uh, question where you have this write an expression for the number of yeast cells after t hours we already know that the form looks like this p of t equals p naught e to the k T. We know our p naught because it tells us that the initial population is 6,000 cells. So we can say that p of t equals 6,000 times e to the k t. Now, the only thing left to find is the value of k. And if you look at the question, notice that we're given another bit of cru crucial information the population doubles after two hours so that means when t equals 2 p of t is equal to or p of 2 you can say is equal to 12,000 12,000 yeast cells now we can use that information to figure out uh, k. We can say 12,000 is equal to 6,000 
times e to the k times 2. So all I did was plug in uh, p of 2, which is 12,000, and the corresponding time, which is uh, 2. Now all we have to do is uh, solve for k. We can divide both sides by 6,000. And we get 2 equals e to the uh, 2k. Take natural log of both sides. The natural log cancels the e over here. So we have natural log of 2 is equal to 2k. And if we want to get k by itself, we have to divide by 2. So k is equal to natural log of 2 over 2. Now we can write the final expression, which will be P of T is equal to 6,000 times E to the natural log of 2 over 2 times uh, time times t. And that's the answer for number one. Now number two asks us to find the number of yeast cells after eight hours. And we just figured out what the expression for p of t is. And this is just a simple plug and chug. So we're looking for p of eight which is when time equals 8, what the population is. And then all you have to do is say 6,000 e to the uh, natural log of 2 over 2, which is the value of k, times 8 for the time. And that, when you plug it in, should give you 96,000 yeast cells. The next question asks us to find the rate at which the population of yeast cells is increasing at 8 hours. And the answer it tells us should be in cells per hour. Two things kind of give away what we have to do. We're looking for the rate and the answer should be in cells per hour. So all we're doing essentially is taking the derivative of p of t to figure out what the rate is. And we're going to evaluate that at t equals 8 hours. So p of t we've already determined is equal to 6,000 times e to the natural log of 2 over 2 times uh, t, which is e to the kt. If we're taking the derivative of this, then p prime of t is going to equal the constant just carries over, so that's 6,000. And first we're going to have e to the natural log of 2 divided by 2t and then we're going to do the chain rule on this so we're going to multiply uh, by natural log of 2 over 2 and that's it. Now we're just going to evaluate it at 8 so we have 6000 uh, times natural log of 2 over 2 times e to the natural log of 2 over 2 times 8 and when we evaluate this it should come out to 48,000 times natural log of 2 and that's the final answer for that I hope this video was helpful. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Follow my channel on Facebook and check out other videos on my channel, especially the calculator tutorial series. And until next time, take care, guys.